Hello and welcome back to Something Unlimited, Famascura. You both walk into the warm and humid room with a large pool. Hmm. And these are the baths for the whole villa. Uh, you know, yeah. They are kept at a constant temperature with na with natural hot springs. Eh, you know what voice I'll give her. They are kept at a constant temperature with natural hot springs. Very nice. My gods and I will use them, so you should pick your timing carefully. It will be embarrassing for me if my own gods murder you. You give her a stare, but she is dead serious. I will take that into se I will take a sensible timetable for sure. I will take a sensible timetable for sure. Good. I am in charge of my sisters, but they will still do as they see fit. The Amazon chain of command is merely respect. It is nice to learn these things firsthand. There, there are food stores in the great silo here. This way we can stay in for quite some time if we need to. Are you expecting a siege? No, but I would not rule anything out right now. The sarcastic tone in your voice must have been too subtle. Let us keep moving while the sun is still up. You both head out of the sweltering room and on to the next. Nubia walks into a large bedroom ahead of you. There are windows that look out over the rest of the villa. This is the this is obviously a bedroom. We are relatively high up, but these open windows could be a problem. I will be sleeping over in this bed just in case. You give Nubia a wide grin and straighten your back. We'll be sleeping in the same room. Right across from each other. Nubia frowns and stares at you with a stern look. Do you have a problem with that? Well, it is just... It just infers a particular meaning in the outside world. She rolls her eyes and lets out a light sigh. <sighs> Meanings will be meaningless if you are stabbed to death in your sleep. I will sleep here, and you will sleep there. You scan the, around the room quickly for a moment. I do have a few pieces of luggage that I brought along. We left them on the outskirts of the city, though. Very well, I'll send someone to pick it up. Excellent. Now I just need a couple of moments to myself. Nubia narrows her eyes and glares at you. Have you not been listening? You frown and let out a sigh. All right, never mind. You walk over and pick up a, some pieces of clothing and inspect them. Nubia watches as you work away with the material and some metal trinkets. You use some high-tech tools hidden in your belt to modify the golden metals. Finally, you strip down with Nubia watching your naked back with a bored expression. You wrap the clothes around your body and secure it with a belt and clasp. Oh, I can do this. I keep Now I can do that. That's nice. Look at that. With a wide grin, you walk back to Nubia with a makeshift toga. I thought that I should try to blend in a bit more. She just shakes her head and looks off to the wall. I do not think that will help you disguise yourself very well. We shall wait out the day in the villa. There is far too much confusion right now. I agree. So, you can entertain yourself for the time being. I will stay by your side until I see fit that it is not needed. Very well. You both head out of the room again and tour the villa for a while. Nubia has many guards posted around the walls and doors to the do- to the doors to the- What? Nubia has many guards posted around the walls at the doors to the doors to the- to room. Did Sunset have a fucking stroke writing this? Again? Someone needs to have a medical check on that poor man. Finally, you head back down to the main area again. Some guards come along with a couple of boxes marked with LexCorp. Good, good. Just take them upstairs. The guard stays in place with stone faces. Nubia nods to them and they start to move immediately. I'm just wondering what powers come with the rank of prince exactly. She rolls her eyes and shrugs her shoulders at you. I do not know. The title was literally just first used on the island today. You grimace and look out through the courtyard gardens. Well, that is a bit disappointing. Hmm. 
It seems like the sun is finally starting to set now. I'd like to look over my belongings. Oh no, you know what? Yeah, the other one has that. Very well, very well. Let's head back to the bedroom then. You walk off across the floor with Nubia right behind you. You both pass a guard and head up the stairs to the top level. Nubia watches you carefully as you tinker with some equipment. You attach wires and connect pieces of circuits together. Finally, you grin to yourself as you complete the machine. You put the large black box and put it back into a crate. Nubia stares at the package as you brush your hands off. What kind of wizardry are you up to? You have a self-satisfied smile across your face. Nothing that should concern you. Simply a machine to monitor your unusual protection dome. Nubia glares at you for a moment then sighs. Well, it is dark outside now. If I were going to attack, it would be at night. I have stationed as many guards as I trust to look over the compound. I'm sure the risk will slowly diminish over time. Sudden changes to such a self-contained system as this are always risky. But eventually they stabilize. Nubia looks out the window into the darkness of the night. We shall see. It would be best if you went to sleep and I'll stay on the watch for now. You look her over and get a stern look back. Very well. I'll see you in the morning, then. You walk over to the bed and toss your toga off to the side. Nubia stares out the window as you get into bed. She walks over to one of the main pillars and leans up against it. The night passes by as the moon and stars shine their light. Nubia is standing in the middle of the room as you wake up. You let out a light yawn and stretch your arms out a bit. You pick up the white toga and squint your eyes in the bright room. Quickly, you put it on and stand up off the bed. You walk over to Nubia as she looks over you over. Well, it seems as though I survived the night. She rolls her eyes and shakes her head. You survived one night. With a dozen gods posted and myself stand here. Yes, good work in contradicting my, in counteracting my death. Nubia lets out a sigh and looks around. I would like to do a tour of the island. She immediately frowns at you as soon as you say that. We can visit some places for now. But you will return to the compound when I say so. You frown and stare at her for a moment. Very well. Good. We'll head out with a small com compliment of gods. I will stay by your side on this tour as well. A guided tour with a beautiful woman? What more can I ask for? Nubia has a blank expression as you grin to yourself. This island is a big place. We shall stay within the central city limits for now. That should be more than adequate. Shall we start then? Nubia nods her head and you both head down the stairs. She walks in front of you as you enter the villa's main lobby. Oh, this is a beta, by the way, so all the jokes about the, uh, the words, it'll get fixed. Half a dozen guards come up as Nubia waves them in. All of you move out of the gates in a small circle with you in the center. You can only visit so many places until your influence rises with the Amazons. For now, you should spend some time on the island gaining their trust. You will gain the option to come and go as you please later on. Enjoy the island of Themyscira. Let's go check out the market. You walk through the gates to the open market with Nubia and her guards. Some of the Amazons stop and stare briefly at your squad with golden shields. Most of them go about their business as you look around. You see high-quality meats, fruits, and exotic-looking breads and pastries. It seems that the mascara is dining quite well. Nubia rolls her eyes and shakes her head at you. You seem to be missing some critical information about Amazons on the island. We don't need to ear or drink. No, he had a stroke writing this. Okay, I've just sent him that. We don't need to ear or drink, even if we are within the island's protection. You frown at her as she shrugs her shoulders. You said we had enough food for a siege back at the villa. Yes, unless you want to eat grass. These effects will not apply to you. Well, now that is disappointing. You look around at the food in the market and grin. I think I'll be all right. We still eat and drink for entertainment or just pleasure. All this food is created with the care by my sisters. 
You will have to continue... You will have to convince them to part with that food since we have no currency on the island. I'll show you my dick if you give me food. You grimace as you will look around at all the Amazons trading wares and other items for foodstuff. I have made my fortune back countless times. I'm sure I can deal with a simple barter system. Nubia scans across the market at all of the items. I would guess that you would create things outside the scope of what my sisters are used to here. You grin to yourself with a confident stance. I suppose I could introduce them to banking. There is a really terrible joke I could make, but I'm pretty sure I'd get nailed. Lex's nose needs to be a little bigger. Nubia rolls her eyes and shakes her head. Wine production is particularly critical in the vineyards. We use it for ceremony, celebrations, and festivals. Mm, very interesting. Still, we have plain bread and other things for you back at the villa. There will be more than enough for you to survive on. You frown at Nubia as she grins back at you. I'm saving my wine for the next festival that is coming. I do really like the art. It is really pretty. The cool water in the villa is fresh from the mountain. Plain bread and water. I will have to work on starting up the new enterprise here then. Good luck, Prince. Nubia looks around at the Amazons and the bustling areas nearby. Though we should not linger in such an open area for too long. Very well, we can move on for now. You walk through the marketplace to the market with your comp complement of guards. Again, I will get voices solid for everybody eventually. The, the other side leads to the center square and up to the palace. I do like that we finally have Renpai. <laughs> Please don't move the other game to Renpai, for the love of God, I don't need to start that again. I might actually go insane. Is that... Is that the chick from Avatar? What the shit? I think it is. A lone Amazon is hammering away as you approach the smithing and armor area. She is wearing nothing but a leather apron as she works. Her light brown skin shines in the sunlight with gleams of sweat rolling down. You watch her intently with Nubia walking beside you. The Amazon notices but continues to work anyway. Uh, I'll be there in just a minute. Moment. <gasps> oh, I guess we get to find out if shooting him does anything. It has to stop! Oh, man! Make he makes you kill yourself! Fuck it! I want to see what happens! That Holy shit! Dead. If you try and shoot him, he literally... What happens if you, if you try and use the shotgun? Uh, bigger, bigger head explosion, I would think. Amazon walks over. She stands in front of you both with a simple smile on her face. You could at least wear something more than an apron, Pallas. Pallas. Pallas shrugs and puts her arm up in the air for a moment. Heh. <laughs> Say someone who doesn't have to work outside all day. She greets so she gets a wide grin with her hands on her hips. I think you're just a bit jealous of me showing off. Hm, hardly, hardly. Pallas frowns as she looks you over for a while. So this is the our new prince, is he? You smile at her and straighten your back. Lex Luthor. It is a pleasure to meet you, Pallas, is it, was it? She spits on the ground off to the side. Well, I ain't impressed at all. This is the scary man at of the outside world. I think I could break you into two pretty easy. You glare at her as Nubius shakes her head again. Watch it, you. Watch it, you. He's been put in my charge for the time being. Pallas grins to herself as she lifts her head up. Well, well, now that is interesting. I don't mind pondering metal, pounding metal all day, but a, cha a change now and then is nice. Looking after a pet would be pretty fun. She laughs out loud as her huge tits jiggle around in her apron. Maybe you should talk to the new queen then. I was one of the first to greet her, so I assume that is why I'm picked to be at random. Oh, damn, I never thought of that. Maybe you should pay a bit more attention to what is going on. Heh, <laughs> well, I'll run over there right now. Pallas quickly runs off in the direction of the palace. 
Her bare ass shakes around as she darts off, and there she goes. Put some clothes on, at least. Ugh, well, never mind. Not all Amazons are always worthy of the title. Hmm, I didn't think there would be so much gossip on the island. Pallas is a good worker, but her mind wanders a lot. <clears throat> anyway, this is the smith and armory, obviously. All the weapons and armor upkeep is done here by hand. So it is a full-time job for the smiths. Very impressive craftsmanship. The strength of the Amazons is poured into everything, especially these sacred ar armaments. Let us move along for now, then. You both head back down the walkway to the main avenue. Blech, I can talk. Look, that threw me off seeing her. I have no idea what her name is. Reform Tower? Oracle, let's sit out the Oracle. You follow Nubia through the doorway as her guards come in behind you. The inside of the tower has spiral cuts running along the wall up to the top. The turquoise floor beneath you is polished to a glossy shine. The Tower of the Oracle is one of the oldest buildings on the island. Along with the palace and the temples, it was one of the first to be created. You look around the complex patterns in the walls and floors. Quite a piece of engineering. Nubia smiles with a look of pride. The Oracle was blinded in an ancient war and was given the gift of foresight. She was guided the Amazons for millennia with her prophecies. Did she prophesy shut the fuck up? That one she didn't see coming. She's been busy. It would be best if you showed respect to her out at all times. Nubia glares at you as you grimace back at her. Of course. Even if they are divided on some issues, all Amazons seek the guidance of the Oracle. Hmm, now this has piqued my interest. A lone Amazon priestess comes out of the doorway and walks towards you both. She bows slightly as she approaches. Welcome, sister. The Amazon glares at you for a moment. I am sorry, but the Oracle has been deep in meditation all day. She will not be receiving any visitors at the moment. Nubia bows back to the other Amazon. I understand. I'm sure many of my sisters are seeking her wisdom as well. Yes, there have been many to come by as of late. Well, we will return another time then. That would be best. The Amazon nods her head all back across the shining floor. Nubia has a concerned look on her face. I hope the Oracle is not overwhelmed by everything going on. Being able to see the future may be a blessing and a curse. I can see the future. Okay, you know as hell I'm going to play that as soon as the Oracle is actually shown. You're all welcome for that horrible thing that will happen. That is true, I suppose. Let us continue on for the time being. You both return and head back through the door to the tower. The door is closed and another figure creeps out. Her metal staff rings out on the floor as she walks across it. The oracle faces the door as she stands in the middle of the room. She stays in place for a while, then slowly walks back again. Another door closes as she makes her way through it. Look, I'm going to wait till you can actually talk to her. You walk into a giant open center of a colossal council building with Nubia. Rows of pillars stack higher and higher towards the vast do dome ceiling. The stonework is carved in a beautiful, in a beautiful marble with seams running through the whole place. <clears throat> Quite an extravagant building <clears throat> for the Amazons. My voice is going. Nubia looks around the room and then up at the ceiling. This is the meeting place of the Amazon Council. It is a group of sisters from the island and all over the world where they still exist. There are Amazons that don't live on the island? Nubia nods her head and stares off again. In ancient times, some of them left for reasons that are forgotten now. Though some still stayed true to the ways of the Amazon. Without the protection of the island, they still age more normally. They would live much longer than an average person, but centuries passed. Eventually, we reestablished ties with some of them. The representatives meet here to discuss issues. Hmm, most intriguing. Nubia lets out an annoyed sigh. 
I am also part of the council, at least before I was charged with you. But we are rarely active in the first place. We shall have to see what the queen does with the council now. On rare occasions, this place has also been used to hold trials. Though such things are very uncommon here. You frown and you nod your head at Nubia. Of course. She rolls her eyes and lets out a sarcastic scoff. There are rarely issues between the sisters on the island, at least until now. I fear that Queen Grail has sparked a divide between everyone. From what I have seen, she is certainly less than diplomatic. We shall see. I still have hope that this new blood is a sign of the Amazons to move on. For now, let us move on to another landmark. I will follow your lead then. Nubia walks out in front of you, walks out in front with you behind and the guards flanking further back. You pass through the giant doors of the building and outside again. I don't think we need to save each time at this point. You walk onto a bridge connecting the Tower of Reform with Nubia in front. As you cross over, you see the doors open and a figure strides out. M Myrina blocks your path into the tower with a hand on her hip. I am sorry, sister, but I have been ordered, I have been ordered by the queen to keep this place in order. Nubia frowns and lets out an annoyed sigh. We have no problem with you fulfilling your orders, but I am merely showing the prince around the landmarks of the island. Myrina grimaces back at her and shifts her hips. I understand. Unfortunately, I am forbidding all Amazons from entering the tower without the express permission of the queen. Nubia stares her down with a heart, her down down. <laughs> I'm loving this. With a harsh look for a moment. <laughs> Very well. Let us be on our way then. Myrina grins to herself and raises her chin. I would happily allow the prince to enter. I can show him the inner workings of the tower, sister. Nubia narrows her eyes and then makes a forced smile. He's in my charge, sister. You can remain at the gates until we are back. I can assure you that nothing will happen to him under my care. Nubia looks Myrina up and down for a long while. Very well. Very well. I will be waiting here when you return him to me. Good. I shall have someone bring you some refreshments to pass the time, sister. Thank you. Myrina walks back into the sheer black inside the tower. You slowly follow after her as Nubia watches you carefully. You cross through the gates and the large doors slowly close behind you. Myrina brings you into her main room and you look around. I'm sure you know the significance of this place. You grin back at her with your hand on your hip. I do enjoy the idea of it. A tower of reform rather that than, than that. Rather than a power reform rather than that of punishment. Yes, it is idyllic thought, though the reality is not always so sweet. It is, for the most part, just an agreement to reform. Even the average Amazon on the island is mighty, and it would be meaningless to cage them up. So it has become more of a children's time out for us. Ah, oh, very interesting. I'd assume you are holding the former queen here, though. Myrina grins to herself again and straightens her back. You are always paying attention, at least. Yes, about us in the tower. You give Myrina a wide grin and stare her down. I was wondering if you would allow me to have an adva adva audience with her. I don't know why I almost said advanced. Myrina pauses and thinks to herself for a moment. I see no harm in that, I suppose. Excellent. Come with me. You head up several flights of stairs as Myrina walks in front of you. Her hips swing from side to side as she strides down the long hall stone hallway. After some time, you come to a cell high up on the top floor. Myrina opens the unlocked door and you both head inside. Myrina rocks in front of you as you look around the simple room. Hippolyta immediately gets up off her plain bed and strides over. What is the meaning of this interruption? Myrina grins to herself as she looks over the state of Hippolyta. Prince Luthor is here to have words with you. Hippolyta's eyes go wide with pure confusion. Prince? What kind of mu of mummer mu What kind of murmurs farce is what kind of murmurs farce is this? It is an honor to meet you. 
and Baralta grim grimaces at you in disgust. The new queen has appointed him personally. This man should be immediately removed from this island. You get well, I'll give her more of the mommy voice. You give her a grin and adjust your golden belt. Queen Grail is trying something new. Blasphemy. There are ancient rules to this place that cannot be broken. Having a man here is the same as spitting in the face of the gods. You quickly frown at, Hippo at Hippolyta as you look her over. And yet, uh, here I am. The gods don't seem to be on your side. Hippolyta stares at you with an icy look. I'm sure that you've thought about this as well. They simply don't care about you. Which would not be surprising, honestly. Why you? You are the one who betrayed them in the first place. I should have killed you. I should kill you where you stand, man. Myrina frowns and shifts her stance. I would not try that, sister. It's all right. I can only imagine how insane I would be if I had devoted myself to such a charade for millennia. What? Myrina takes a step forward with a frown. Remember your daughter, Hippolyta. She clenches her fist and lets out a slow sigh. Yet. Wrong, wrong one, okay. Remember your daughter, Hippolyta. She clenches her fist and lets out a slow sigh. Yes, of course, I do. Take this time to clear your thoughts. We should move on for now, Prince. Very well. This has been an exciting encounter, former Queen Hippolyta. I look forward to talking to you again in the future. Leave my myself, false prince. I would like to lie down. You and Myrina head back into the hallway, closing the door behind you. Both of you start to go down the flight of stairs again as you scan the halls and doors. Hippolyta slowly walks back over to her bed and she sits down. You're again back in Myrina's office after those stares. She grins and looks you over for a moment. Well, you certainly know how to make an impression. It is an acquired skill. You're taking well to your role from what I can see. Thank you. Though I would like to spend some more time with the former queen. Myrina thinks to herself for a moment. I will allow it. If for nothing else than to annoy Hippolyta. You don't seem to be on the best terms. Myrina frowns and gives you a cold stare. I was basically excommunicated from the island long ago. Once you spend more time in the real world, this place seems like a fever dream of a mad woman. You study your face carefully as you speak to you as she speaks to you. Ah yes, it is quite interesting. Well, I should return you to your handler for now. I have many other tasks that need to be done. Of course. I will return another time. You both head out of the office and long, down the long hallway. So, uh, you figure out how to get cell phones in here? We are working on that and Wi-Fi. Trust me, man. I miss the Wi-Fi, too. I cannot play my video games like this. Fortnite? God, no. I play good things. The lodge gates open again and Nubia's waiting on the other side. So do you play Susa? I will shoot you where I stand if you finish that sentence. Fair enough. Marina heads back inside as you both walk off down the path again. I'm liking the introduction so far. Again, this is a beta. It's a beta, so there's going to be a lot that changes throughout the updates and stuff. You finish the final steps to the large staircase and into the actual temple of Aphrodite. Nubia stands guard in front of you as you look around the opulent internals of it. Red and white ribbons are hanging all over the ceiling and outside the pillars. Lavish carpets and pillows are strewn about the whole center. As you look past Nubia, you can see something sur Are you listening at all? Yes, of course. I said this is the Temple of Aphrodite. You look around the room and see many naked bodies withering around. Some Amazons are dancing and others are playing with each other. Wine and exotic candies are being consumed left and right. Quite the sight to behold. Nubia rolls her eyes and lets out an annoyed sigh. Aphrodite is one of our prin principal goddesses aside from Hera. She is the goddess of love, beauty, and fertility. You watch some of the debauchery going on over on the other side of the temple. Your worship of her is very stimulating to say the least. 
It is a difficult regiment for the priestesses to keep up with. Only the most promiscuous among us are ordained to work at the temple. Sluts? Oh, hell yeah, men. They will do things to you that you have not even heard of. You grin to yourself as you watch an Amazon spreading her legs on the floor. Putting all your sluts into the temple of the gods. Perhaps I have misjudged the wisdom of the Amazon culture. I am unfamiliar with that word. It doesn't really matter. I can see that you are doing God's true work here. Nubia gets a wide smile on her face looking at you. Perhaps even you can be converted to the righteous path. Aphrodite seems like a very respectable goddess. Well, it seems as though all the priestesses are busy with worship today. We shall return another time. Look, I gotta take a drink. We've been walking for hours. You take another look around at all the naked bodies. Yes, that would be wise. I found my new favorite place. I could probably get stuck here all day absorbing all the... culture. Nubia raises her chin with a smile. I'm sure you will have plenty of time for that in the future. She turns and starts down. She turns and starts down the steps again as you continue to stare. Finally, you quickly turn on your heel and head down as well. As you walk down the massive staircase, her guards flank you and Nubia. A great library. You follow Nubia into a vast library. Shelves and shelves of books sprawl out from the walls all si on all sides. This is our great library. You look around at the massive amount of ancient text. Extremely impressive. It would be a daunting task to read all of this. You notice a red-headed Amazon slowly inching towards you both. Well, then you could speak to someone who has read them all. She meekly walks up right in front of you and Nubia. I I'm Alexa, the head caretaker of the library, and that just set off my Alexa. You did that on purpose, didn't you, Gunsmoke? Though I cannot say for certain... I have read every book here. I'm sure you are the closest to it then, sister. Alexis smir <sighs> Alexa smirks to herself with embarrassment for a moment. God, set my thing off. I, I do still try to spend time with my training as well. Though I would rather be deep in a good book. I think an Amazon is stronger with all, with all kinds, sister. I see you've brought our new prince along as well. I am Lex Luthor of Metropolis. Alex's eyes light up with curiosity. Oh, Metropolis? Is it near Athens? I so wish we had a new map of the world. No, it is quite a ways away from Greece. It is in North America. Ah, uh, the new land, is it? This is so very interesting. I would love to hear about this city of yours. Oh, then we can make an exchange. You must have some ancient and rare books that no longer exist in the outside world. I will tell you all you want to know if I can study in your library when I have the time. Oh, of course. That is why I care for these old books in the first place. I am delighted that some influence from the outside world is finally seeping into the veil of the island. Nubia rolls her eyes and lets out a bored sigh. Well, I should not hold you up for now. I I'm sure that you are busy learning about the island. Oh, it must be so much fun. Yes, it is a lot to take in. I will return whenever I can spare the time. Alex nods as you and Nubia turn and head back out of the doors. She grins to herself again with that satisfied look. I just knew that not all the men are less crazed barbarians. Yeah, we're banging that as she walks across the massive open floor over the shelf of, or, of or unorganized books. We could just have a bunch of books shipped in. That'll make her happy. Oh, you're all going for the geeky one, aren't you? Okay, so we have two. Whoop. Oh, no, no, no. Go there. Thank you. You stride through the rows of large columns with Nubia beside you. As you walk down the center path to the throne, the guards follow up along the sides. You both come to the middle of the massive room with the guards. Two gold-clad guards come down the throne and walk towards you. They stop in front of you, in front of Nubia as you stare at them. If you are looking to challenge the queen, she has already accepted enough for months to come. 
Nubia frowns, but the expression on the guards are unchanged. We only came to see the queen herself. I have the prince here with me. The guards look at each other for a moment. The queen is not here. She may be dealing with a contest at, all, at this very moment. I see. You frown at the guards and stare at them. Isn't there a list or something of the challengers? Yes, but the queen has it on her person. Nubia rolls her eyes and lets out a sigh. Then who has challenged her today? The two whisper something to each other. Sorry, we do not have privy to that to listening either. To listing is either. Queen Grail has the list, and the challengers may choose their contest. Nubia has a confused look on her face. Choose? Yes, the queen thought pure combat would be dull. So she's allowed the challengers to choose the battle of strength. Hmm, very clever. Her claim will be hard to deny if she beats all our sisters in all areas. The guards both nod their heads in unison. You must might find her in the royal baths after the contest is complete. That is the only clear pattern she has. Very well. Thank you for the information, sisters. The golden gods bow their heads and turn them their heels. They walk back up the post beside the throne again. Very interesting. I thought this would be less involved. Nubia looks off across the large open palace. The challengers will slowly dry up as she beats more Amazons. My sisters will be too proud to test her again quickly. We may run into the queen as we move around the city. Nubia nods her head in agreement. Yes, that may be the only option for now. Let us head out again. Nubia struts off with you, with you and her guards trailing behind. You start to head down the massive staircase leading up to the palace. I do really like the actual look. Again, the game, it's sunset. He does amazing work as it is with art. Draw for me. You slowly walk up the enormous set of stairs leading to the Temple of Hera. Nubia stands... Can I get, like, a ding counter now soon for this? Nubia stand stands out the stuff. <laughs> I love it. I love it. This is a beta. This is a beta. Nubia stand stands out and stops you as a shadow appears. Oh, God, the shadow? No. The red-haired Amazon walks out of the temple with a stern expression. What do you think you're doing here, Nubia? Nubia holds her position and the guards beside you raise their shields slightly. I know exactly what I'm doing, Artemis. I was only given the prince a look at the temple itself. Artemis glares down at you with a grimace. He should not even be on these steps. Maybe the man's wizardry has clouded your head, sister. Nubia shakes her head and shrugs her shoulders. I would question this man having any magic. You frown and look off to the side. I heard that. I don't give a fuck. I know the rules of the temple very well. Artemis clenches her hands on her tiny waist. The only true, only true warriors have, can enter here, as, outsider. Inside is the whole, is the holy of holies for the goddess Hera herself. Oh, God, she needs a different voice. Oh well, for today. I knew you would try to worm your way into the most sacred site. Nubia grits her teeth as she notices the other Amazons standing behind pillars. A large force to take on one man, sister. Artemis shakes her head and looks down at Nubia. I'd rather overwhelm him than risk my sister's lives needlessly. You, were, you and the others are welcome inside, Nubia. But leave this man outside. Nubia shakes her head and straightens her posture. I would not be a true warrior if I shrugged off my duties. The prince is in my charge and I will protect him. Artemis gr grins to herself for a moment. Hera would be impressed with your pride. I would also carry out my duties, though, sister. Perhaps we should take another look at the palace. That is a wise choice. You can observe the majesty of the temple from many places, prince. Nubia still stares straight at Artemis without moving. Very well, we're heading back to the palace then. She waves the guard to rotate to form a semicircle. Artemis stands in place as she watches you walk down the steps. All the Amazons behind the pillars fade back into the dark of the temple. Finally, Artemis turns and strides back between the pillars again. I think that's everything. Let me see. Okay. So that's everything. Let's go check out the vault. All right. That's the vault. That's everybody. I see the paintings back there. 
You walk into the huge room with the open baths. You quickly scan around to see if anyone's here. The hot steam rises and you take a deep breath. Ah, oh, relaxing bath would be nice right now. You walk over the open waters and take off your toga. Slowly you step down the stairs into the hot water. You lean back with your arms spread on the bottom step. Mmm, this is just what I needed. The warm water seems to relax every muscle as you close your eyes. You slouch down further into the water until it's up to your neck. Now I can understand why they are constantly bathing. This is tough to beat for pure refreshment. You rest in the steamy water for some time. Finally, you stand back up again and the water runs down your body. You grab a nearby towel and dry yourself off carefully. Once again, you pick up your toga and wrap it around you. You take a few steps and stretch your arms. Quite a handy having this right in your basement. But I should return before Nubia assumes I've been killed. You walk back out the giant doors and up the stairs. The air feels cool after being in the hot water for so long. That was nice. So we'll go to the bedroom. And this is where we will save. So thank you guys for joining me for this episode. If you do want to support the channel, you can join the Patreon subscribe store or become a member wherever you're watching this. You guys are awesome as always. And let me know which Amazon is your favorite. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for being awesome, guys. And don't forget to check me out on YouTube under Purity Sin Gaming and Sinfully Pure, my other channel. Help it grow. You guys are awesome. Bye.